How are cell organelles classified, based on the membranes they possess? Basically, a cell possesses membrane-bound organelles, based on which they can be grouped into amembranous, unimembranous, and double-membrane cell organelles. Present among the amembranous and unimembranous cell organelles are the double-membrane cell organelles, the mitochondria, and the plastids. Structurally, a mitochondrion consists of outer and inner membranes, separated by an intermembrane space. The outer membrane is smooth and porous, whereas, the inner membrane is thrown into numerous folds, called Christi. Present on the Christi are stalk-like structures, called the F0-F1 particles, also termed ATP synthases. Name the product synthesized by ATP synthases. ATP synthases are directly involved in the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the energy coin of the cell. The Christi are thrown into folds to increase the surface area for energy production. The mitochondrial membranes enclose a fluid matrix that accommodates the circular DNA, 70S ribosomes, and the enzymes required for the process of aerobic respiration. Which types of cells possess 70S ribosomes in their cytoplasm? Prokaryotic cells possess 70S ribosomes in their cytoplasm. Why is the mitochondrion termed a semi-autonomous cell organelle? Though mitochondrion has its own genetic material, it is still dependent on the nuclear DNA for certain functions, like replication and transcription of its own DNA. This makes the mitochondrion a semi-autonomous cell organelle. Functionally, mitochondria play a critical role in aerobic respiration for the generation of metabolic energy, in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and hence are referred to as powerhouses of the cell. There are also certain disorders associated with mitochondrial defects. When mitochondria fail to function, or if there are any defects in mitochondrial DNA, they are often associated with neuromuscular diseases, such as LHON, labor hereditary optic neuropathy, myopathy, etc. Let us now move to the next double membranous cell organelles, the plastids. Plastids are of three different types, namely, chloroplasts, chromoplasts, and leucoplasts. Chloroplasts are plastids, present in plant cells, that play a critical role in photosynthesis. Can you guess the aspects by which chloroplasts are similar to mitochondria? In many aspects, chloroplasts are similar to mitochondria. Both organelles generate metabolic energy in the form of ATP, contain their own genetic material and divide by fission. However, the chloroplasts perform a unique task called photosynthesis. Structurally, chloroplasts are double membranous cell organelles. The membranes enclose a fluid matrix, called stroma, and membranous sacs, called phylicoids. Phylicoids are flattened disks and are arranged in stacks, called grana. There are many sets of grana, present in the chloroplast and are interconnected by stroma lamellae. Functionally, the chloroplast is involved in photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants transform light energy into chemical energy. Recall the phenomenon of photosynthesis. The energy from sunlight is harvested and used to drive the synthesis of glucose from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of the photosynthetic pigment, chlorophyll. Express the equation of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water are utilized to generate one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen. Apart from chloroplast, there are two types of plastids present in the plant cell, namely, chromoplasts and leucoplasts. Chromoplasts add color to the flowers and fruits with the help of pigments, such as xanthophylls and carotenes. Leucoplasts are the third type of plastids, devoid of pigments. These are specifically involved in storage. 
leukoplasts can be further classified into three types, which include alluroplasts storing proteins, amyloplasts storing starch, and aleoplasts storing fats. These are the details of the double-membraned organelles, the mitochondria, and chloroplasts.